we're live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my another live stream, right? And we're gonna play the 10 by 10 puzzle today for a couple hours. It's been a while, it's been, we we're gonna do this once a month, but uh, we, we missed a month, I think. We had a lot of other stuff come up. So uh, we're gonna play a 10 by 10 puzzle. We'll try to keep the schedule of once a month, okay? As you can see, I got the lapel mic set up here with the camcorder set up. I wasn't initially going to record this, but I said, why not? Just in case we get 100, right? Just in case we're able to get to the higher numbers, 99. And ideally, 99, 100, 98, happy with 98, 99, 100. We haven't done yet. And for those of you watching, if you want to know what game we're playing, we're going to be playing this game. We put out a video, I think, in 2000. 15 16 I don't know 14 <laughs> uh, we put our video a while ago and we got an article uh, that's compiling all the videos and it's got instructions and the link for that is on the site and it, it is in the description of this video if you find this video this one is actually only on YouTube but there are versions of this game that we played live also recorded on BitChute as well and there's links to the article in all of those videos and i'll provide the link in uh in i, th I think we gotta automate it uh 10 by 10 let's see if it comes up nice nice uh casey set this up for auto mod uh, so it sort of uh, uh takes you to the link where the game is at where the article you can find okay Luca, how are you doing? How's life? How's it going, guys? Taco, welcome back, welcome back. So what is the description we have here? It says, the aim is to fill every square of the grid. You can start anywhere. You can move two squares diagonally and three squares vertically or horizontally to any empty square. You can play the game online here, and it's a link to an online version. Curious, how's it going? Welcome, welcome good morning or good afternoon or good evening look uh, nice so we got people rolling in okay and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set up the mic for us and we'll give everyone a couple of minutes a few minutes like usually about 10 minutes to roll in uh, okay not bad mate good to be back here yeah good to be streaming I like these streams that we do like three days in a row and stuff like this it sort of gets me in the mindset of streaming and I try to take care of everything else beforehand and I just get into the live streaming mode and stuff it's super fun hello Chicho how's your day going well taco thank you thank you buff buff monster how are you doing welcome to another live stream I'm not even sure if I'm going to end up editing the video we're going to shoot or not. I'm just doing the shoot, recording it with the sound. Uh, mainly because when I was setting up, I'm like, okay, I'm not, we're just going to do a live stream. We're not going to record. And I went, what if we get 100? What if we get 100? <laughs> Got to capture it, right? <laughs> fun, fun. So I'm going to take this pick down. Let's take this guy down. Okay. That's where you can find all the info. And we'll give everyone 10 minutes. And do you guys, does everyone know how to play this game? Let me know if you need a little bit of introduction. I'll I'll give it to you. Can we do it today? Is the one that <laughs> got my fingers crossed. I even, like I set up the stuff just in case, right? Hey, Chicho, first time chatting uh, a live stream. Awesome, welcome, welcome, Trey. Welcome to the live stream have to run for work but just wanted to say i've been watching your content since middle school and now i'm finishing up call awesome awesome man congrats congrats don't uh, you gotta run run brother uh or sister of course right uh don't be late for work but congrats on uh, finishing up college and going getting through the system uh honored to have partaken a little bit in it okay or helped you out a little bit okay what 
What's up, Chicho Maniacs? <laughs> Cruel joke. I gave my CV to a small hotel to work at the receptionist desk for the night shift because they need someone who looks intimidating and knows a few languages. Nice. If you know a few languages, uh, before uh, until automation kicks in, more there were more jobs in the past. Uh, some people were just used to go study languages and you were guaranteed uh, certain fields, right? I saw it on YouTube. Cool. Please tell me how this game works. Okay, Taco, will do. Good to be doing uh, some higher stuff at the heavy Assange discussion. Yeah. Yeah, some lighter stuff than the Assange discussion. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm still consuming a lot of news, of course, right? Because things get kicked up a lot. But... We always have to manage uh, our stress and uh, we, we have to have a diverse uh, number of interests right well, otherwise we get lost we loop we lose perspective hence the 10 by 10 game have you noticed a higher likelihood of getting a higher number by starting on the outside or inside you know what I, ideally for me I usually start on the outside for sure I usually start every now and then I go on the inside it doesn't work for me and uh, for me uh, I haven't tried it enough times starting from the inside going out to me logically it just feels more natural or more options if you start from the outside and make your make your way in but I think you have to leave a few squares on the out uh, at some point I love you know, I have been thinking and I've laid out some stuff that uh, I want to sort of instigate. I know there's apps out there, this game, you can play online and stuff. Uh, but I like to come up with a version of this game as an app or something where we analyze the data and you could automate some of it and give it a, give it a certain number you want to go to and give it some rules. Uh, an algorithm I think maybe for the next stream I'll lay the stuff out and we'll do it but basically decide to start off with a certain algorithm right for example start off all the way you know around the side which we've been doing go around go around if you can't go around anymore rules right go backwards if you can't go that way go one diagonal and look for and then go to the inside and continue the so it'd be super cool to have it'd be super cool to have You had Iranian and Armenian heritage, right? Yeah. Do you ever visit uh, either country? I haven't been back to Iran since we left when we were a kid. I've never been to Armenia. Okay. Uh, Food-wise, interaction-wise, I've interacted. Language-wise, my English is by far the most powerful. I can't read or write Armenian or a Farsi, right? But I can. I can communicate, right? Uh, so and as of 18 years ago i decided not to travel anymore not to leave my <laughs> beef british columbia i did a fair bit of traveling in the past and i just decided not to do it anymore uh, in the past it was a lot easier and uh, for me i'm just not into going through the hassle of traveling anywhere and there's different ways of traveling as well right uh, so uh, that's where i am with it Communication is key in life. Communication is key in life. Oh yeah, I gotta give you the instructions for this uh, taco. Let me set this up. Let me set this up. And I'll give you guys the instructions here. Let me give you guys the instructions. Uh, <laughs> Hello Chicho, how are you doing? Doing great, great lasagna. How are you doing? Welcome back to another stream. Uh, so let me give you guys a quick instruction and then We'll do another version very quickly for the video because we've done a fair bit. Uh, but for those of you who don't know how to play this game, here, let me do this again. 10 by 10. So that those are the instructions quick, and I'll give it to you right now. Uh, Speedy Gonzalez, okay. How's the video? Is it frozen? Hopefully not. Well, let me see, let me see. I'm showing my Twitch as being a little frozen, so hopefully it is not frozen, but we'll see. Let me open up. Oh, okay, it's going again. Cool. Uh, happy.
happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you guys as well. Happy Saturday. So let me change the angle on this. Speedy Gonzalez. And I'll basically... Here, let me do... Let me change this up. Okay. Let me put this guy down for now. So basically the rules of the game are this, right? And I'll repeat this as soon as we start recording, but just in case there's any questions, I want to uh, answer the questions for the for the chat. So there's this is a 10 by 10 grid, right? And what we want to do, we want to fill up the whole grid from the number one to number 100, right? And you can start anywhere you want and you go consecutively up, right? You can start at one and go up or you can start at 100, go down, but you want to start at one and go to 100, right? That's the way we've been playing. And what you can do is you can take the number one, right? And place it anywhere you want. Okay, let's say we put it here. And then vertically or horizontally, you have to be three squares away, right? So number two can go one, two, three here, one, two, three here, one, two, three here, one, two. Oh, you're off grid. You can't go there, right? So let's say we put number two here, right? And then number three can go vertically, horizontally, three squares, right? So here you can't go again, it's already occupied, so you've got that choice and that choice. Or you can also go diagonal, diagonally as well, right? Diagonally, you gotta be two squares away. So one, two, you can go here. 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 Okay? Get to number 100. You've done magic. Okay? So let me know if there's any questions about that. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, and by the way, the, the naming system, we're basically going A8 would be here. So if you want us to start anywhere and do a certain movement, just go, for example, D. If we're going to start off with number one, yeah, let's put one at C7, right? And then based on the movement types, there's only, we could go here, 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 and here, right? Or here, right? So you could say number two or the next movement from number one, if you want to go anywhere, you would say, let's say F7. And if you got a bunch of movements, you see a pattern happening someplace where you can knock off a few squares, give the movements in a row and we'll go in a sequence. Okay. Tutor, teaching elementary uh, school kids. And high school, I teach high school as well. So let me switch this up again. Thank you for the sub uh, lasagna. Doop, doop. What if we try a pattern such as straight diagonal and straight, uh, straight diagonal? I, you know what? That's one of the algorithms I've been thinking about. The rule would be this, right? Start off in a corner, go diagonally. And then when you hit a corner, you could either go diagonally which is one thing you could do. But I think the ideal one here would be hit the corner, right? And then either go up or down. And then when you hit another corner, go diagonal again, right? We could do whatever you want. But if you want, think about an algorithm that you want to implement uh, in the next live stream we do and post it in Discord. Uh, and we'll do it. We'll follow the rules, right? Looks like an online elementary. Yeah, hello. What's your uh, record, Chicho? My record is 99. I've never done 100. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay. And again, thank you for the sub lasagna. Or the singer from System of Down, Serge Tankian. <laughs> All right. I always say Tankian for some reason, but Tankian. So how about we do this? I'm going to change it up and we play. Today is the 100. Today is the 100. Fingers crossed. Right? So let me turn this on. Let me put the tape on this. And then uh, we'll do, and think about where we want to start, gang. We're usually starting at corners, right? But we can start anywhere. Let me lock this in. Good thing to do on a Saturday afternoon. Corner is a good idea. Yeah, we do. I 
think just because I'm closer to this side, we've been going with a tad a lot. Hello and good evening, gang. Hello, Andy. How are you doing? Let me turn this on. Lock it in. Tap, tap. Turn that on. Test, test. Oop, I gotta turn this on too. Test, test. One, two, three. Perfect. So that guy's going. I just gotta lock this in so I don't get trip over the wire. My system is ghetto. <laughs> but we do pretty good with the system. Oh, I need more, more lean way than that. Give myself more slack than that. Alright, let's lock this up here. Ah, thank you for the, for the uh, bits. What's the name? Connor. Thank you for the bits, Connor. Can we start in the middle in E5? We could, yeah, for sure. You're the first one that set somewhere, uh, Taco. We can start in the middle. Connor plays MC. Connor plays MC. Nice. Is it better to start in the corner? Uh, is it better? I've never reached a hundred, <laughs> so I don't know if it is or not. <laughs> Your system is better than most Chicho. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, oh, let me do a little intro for the video, right? So let me clap my hands. Oops. Okay. Nice. Cool. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another 10 by 10 day uh, the day that we're gonna be playing the 10 by 10 puzzle right now if you've been following the work that we've been doing we have a video out showing how to play this game and there's a I'm gonna provide a link in the description of this video that'll take you to an article which we're we're compiling all the videos and it's got instructions written out of how to play this game okay and what we're doing right now we're live streaming this on Twitch and from the live stream, from the chat, we're basically going to decide where we're going to go, where we're going to start. And the game is really easy, the instructions. Start somewhere, we're a 10 by 10 puzzle. Start with the number one, try to get it all the way to 100. Vertical, horizontal movements, three squares away. Diagonal movements, two squares away. That's the Speedy Gonzalez version, right? The instructions are in the description of this video, okay? Aside from that, we have a starting spot of E5, and that's where we're gonna put number one down, okay? E5, so we're gonna go number one at E5. So we're starting off in the middle, middle-ish, right? Five, E. This is where we're gonna start number one from, okay? As for number two, we could go here, 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 here. We got all the options open. E5, C3, C3, number two. C3, heading back to the, nice. We can actually go straight to the corner, right? To A1, okay, let's do it. So number three, we're gonna head down. C3 to A1, okay, done deal. If you wanna, without the question mark gang, if you got a movement, let's do it. When we get into the intricate aspects where it's really touchy, and one of the algorithms, uh, uh, index, um, one of the mods that we have on Twitch recommended was no take backs, right? And that would increase the difficulty level huge by a couple orders of magnitude, I believe, right? to C1. So from here, we want to go to, we can't go to C1, we got to go to C, uh, D1, right? Because that's two movements away. D1 to F3. D1 to F3. 
D1 to F3. Okay, let's do it. So F3 would be here. Okay. So we're going to go number four. So we're jumping all over the place, man. Number four. And then F3, number five. Is two cases horizontal vertically? It's got to be three squares away from the previous number horizontally or vertically and two squares away diagonally. Okay. Wait, we can move three spaces, right? Three spaces horizontally and vertically. All right. So from here, the way it works with the 10, if you start off here, you could go here, here, and knock off the corners. There's also patterns that emerge where if we have stuff left over here, we can just concentrate in one zone because we did we did a solve where we broke this thing down to four quadrants and decided to solve each quadrant at a time. And that worked out really well. That was a recommendation someone had made. F5 to H1. F5. Well, we can't go to F5. We have to go to F6. We can go to H1, yeah, H5, oh, okay, so it's a correction. So uh, we could go to J7, ah, you're counting like that. I'm counting the space, oh, you're counting the spaces keyword. Yeah, yeah, sorry, F3. So let's check it out, F3. So we're here right now, F3, and keep the diagonal pattern keep the diagonal pattern so if we're going to keep the diagonal pattern what's the best thing to do we could go here if we go diagonally h1 okay. so we can go here number six oh someone mentioned h1 and i thought i couldn't go bad me i think J7, H9, J7, J7, let's check it out, we can't go to J7, <laughs> taco, to H9, let's check it out, H9, no, J7, H1, aren't we at H1, we're at H1, so we could go to J3, is that what you got? Jake, you guys want J3. That's what you want, J3. Oops, we don't want to write down J3 on this. We want to go number seven, right? <laughs> H1, J3, J3, that's what it is, right? Cool, cool. J3 to H5. J3, then up column. Oh, we went this way. So what we could do is do this. We could go 9 and 10. We could zap another corner. Right? J7, yeah. And then we take J, uh, J10. 9, 10. So what we could do right now is go boom, 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 nail those guys, boom. This is one thing we've been, we've been doing in general, just all right. Need three going vertical, no, yeah, G10, okay, G10, number 11. Across the top. See, never mind that. Okay, cool. Let's go across the top. And one of the algorithms you could come up with to automate it, speed it up to a certain degree, you could say, give it a rule for the app, the program, to say, start in the corner, go around up to the number 50 as much as you can. If you can't go around, go the other way. Give it some 
directions it can get itself out of a trap, right? And then press the button, get the automation to kick you up to 50 and then start from 50. See where that takes you. C8 to put in the three in a row to E6. C8, C8 to E6. Okay, we can actually go straight across. We won't hit the corner, so let's do this. C8, E6. Should we go straight diagonal? Should we continue? I've tried the diagonal route a couple of times. 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, great idea. All the way to J1. Well, we couldn't go to J1 because it's got to be two apart unless I miscounted. So we can go to I2, 5I, okay, we go up, 18, we could go 19, probably up this way, J2. Yeah, J2, I5, how about I8? I8, perfect. Wonder if he can reach 40. <laughs> nice. 19. What are we at with the... Oh, we're at 36 with the two. <laughs> oh, fun. 19. So with 19, we got two choices only, this and this, right? Where should we go? Then across eight, then across eight. Okay, let's go across eight. We can only go one number across eight because this one's filled up and we can't go there. That's filled up. We could go there. So we'd go 20. So right now our choices is here, here. If we do here, we can go and get to the I1, H10. Okay, let's go up there, H10. Number 21. From here we can nail this, 22, 23, 24, or go 22, 23, and then we have to come down. Then around the, around the perimeter again, H7. All the conflicting stuff we came up. H10, then around the corner. E10, E10. Oh, we got three directions to go. <laughs> I need the most of some effects for the bot. <laughs> the, I, don't even, I don't know if we have the list of sound effects for the bot. I think there is a command out there. We need Casey here to give us the commands. I'll try to find out what the commands are to give us the, maybe it's just commands. Let's see if it works. Oh, the bot commands for this channel over here. Nice. That's awesome. That works. Nice. E10, J8, uh, the Chisho sound effect. <laughs> yes, is that it, Connor? <laughs> awesome. Okay, where are we going with this now? I'm going to look up the last one. J8, we got around the corner. E10, J8, J8, J8. Let's go to J8. We'll go over the last one that I saw before we took a tangent. So from there, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, J5. Okay, let's do it. J5 and then J2. Let's knock those down. 23, 24. I want to be true. 
trip if we reach 100 today? What have we got? We could go here. Or we could go. Or go diagonally. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. H. Let's see. H4. H4. We got two H4s. Done deal. We go to H4. Cool. 25. So if we're going diagonally, I'm going to assume we're going to go cross diagonally. Yeah? Should we go? So 26, 27, 28. Let's create a crazy solution. Seriously, then down B. Because this, this one is one of the ones that's more chaotic. Usually we're moving around circles and doing this. This is like going, ch -ch 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 -ch. if we get 100 with this, chaos is the answer. Right, so we're gonna go straight down B. Yeah, okay, done deal. B7, B4, and B1. So 29, 30, 31. What do we do now? 32. If we go to 32, we only have this guy and that guy. And then we can hit the that guy there, come back up, come down, go up, go around. What do we got? <laughs> did you, did you, I'm curious. Just try to get me to say D3. D3. Let's do D3. So we're going to go up here. Cool. 32. This way, we got a lot of options for this. Oops, from there to there. From there to there, from there to there. Oh, we could go from here. Check this out. F1. F1, we have an F1. We could also do this. Go here, boom, boom, nail that corner. Or we could go to F1. We got an F5 going as well. F1. What do we got? A3. <laughs> F1, F1. We're getting lots of F1s. Okay, F1 it is, man. F1. 33. Huh? 33. And then we can hit this guy and go, go to that corner. Yeah? So if we go to H3 and then J1, what do you say? By the way, we haven't done any take backs yet, which is pretty good. Park, thank you for the Twitch subscribe. Twitch Prime subscribe. We need to knock out more on the left. Yeah, over here looks pretty sparse. But as long as we're in a corner, I think we should take that out. J4. And then J4. Okay, done deal. Fill up the small spaces. Yeah, that might be a good idea. So this. So 33, 34, 35, 36. What can we do from there? We got that and we got that. We can come out with that one and then go in and then back in there and then come here. Should we do a J4, then work up diagonally towards B9, okay? J4, so we got J4 and then walk, work up diagonally towards J9. H2. You want to go down. 
page two. Well, how does it diagonally B9 work up diagonally to B9? So you want to go this way, curious. Where are we? 36, 37. Oh, we can't go diagonally. That'll lock this up. Next sound of playing for the list. <laughs> From H3, go to F5. H3. Okay, so let's go to. Well, we're not at H3, H2. Let's do this. Let's do the H2. Unless I'm missing something. Is that what we're gonna from H3? No, no H3, H2. Go to F5. This was here, H3, F5. You want it there? But we could, oh, you want it here. Where was it? Oh, but we already went that way. Should we do this one? 37? We could do this since we're here up to a9 f4 then i4 f4 i4 yeah i'm i'm with park You're curious you want to go chaos you want to like keep on going like this <laughs> yeah. oh we already hit 40 wow then i4 so let's see yeah if we do this check this out we could go 38 39 40 41 right so we could go 38 39 40 41. And then one of the things with this game is, I am very curious, <laughs> I'm very curious, <laughs> 40 times, careful with I3, I3, let's check it out, yeah, that's what I was going to show, check this out, I3, now I3 has one in, one out, so for anything that you see standing by itself, you need an in and an out, so there's got to be two roads in there, that way you can come in from one direction and get out. Actually, this one has two going out. So it's got three things, so that's fine. This one has one, two, three, that's fine. This one has one, and then the rest should be okay. Right? So if we're at 41, what do we feel like doing? Should we go across? Curious. Oh, look at this, 41. Oh, it has this one. We need to get out of that quadrant. You want us out of that quadrant? Okay, let's get out of that quadrant, curious. G6, okay, let's go up, G6, 42. If we do 42, we wanna come up here. I think that's what curious is trying to get us to do, to come up in this corner, right? So 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 58. Did we nail that one or not? G9. 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 Okay, let's go up. And then let's head up this corner. 43, 44, 45. Right? 42, 43. 44, 45. Okay, we're in a corner we've been neglecting. Right? E1. Oh, you want to go from there to there? <laughs> Taco. G9. Okay, so we did that one. Yeah. A9, love it. You, you were trying to get us to A9 for a while, curious. So, and then we got A6. So let's take A6. 46. Should we nail? Or should we go like this? 46, 47, 48. Oh, 
one could also come down here. So 46, 47, 48, or should we go 48 here? What's the other choice? There or there? A3, A5. Curious is like, yeah. Now down column A and then A3. Okay, if we want to go here, so let's go here. A3, 47 on A3. Okay, done deal. And then 48, we could do that. And then hit this and then hit this and then come back. We could go 48, 49, 50. Then to C1, yeah, perfect. Okay. From there, we got two choices only. This guy. We could do this. Check this out. We could go 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and take care of those guys and get out. Could grab I3 from here, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Yeah, Borg. Yes, yes, yes. We got two yeses. Let's do it. Let's get rid of that problem area. So 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. So let's write these in. So 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, oops. And then 54, we got this or this. Should we go back to where Curious wants us? Great minds think alike. Let's go to E3 and watch games. E3, E3. 49. 50, 51, 52, 53. So 54 or 54. Where are we going to go? E4. Let's do it. So 54. Was that curious? No. Nice corner. Nice corner. I like that too. Done. <laughs> 54. We could do this. 54. Or we could come here. 54, 55, or 55, 55, 56, 57, 58. Not sure. High fives. <laughs> E4, C2. E4, let's see. E4, C2. Oh, C2. We're coming down here. Okay. C2, so that's 55. C2, A4. Okay. A4. 56. Check out, check out this one. A8. So if we go, we can't go to A8. We gotta go A7, you mean, I think, Taco. But check this one out. For this guy, we could go here, hit that, come out. That's the only two into that guy. So we could do this right now. Get rid of that problem area. A7 to C9. A7 to C9. Yeah, that works for us, Curious, for sure. Well, what about this guy? Let's see, What's, what does that have going into it? It has that going into it, that's clear. That has a lot of things going into it too. So we can definitely nail that guy. Oh, we messed up, check, check this out. This one's sticking out. Let's get that F2. Should we do it? Okay, let's do it. But we have a problem here. So the best we can do right now is 99. This one doesn't have anything going into it. Locked up, locked up, locked up, locked up. 
So if we were at 54, if we took 55 here, we were stuck. We couldn't do anything, right? Okay, let's take care of that F4. Yeah, we passed 40. We passed. Can we fill the lower space first? F2. Oh, no. 99 is still good. 99 is still good. 57. 58. 59. We have to go back to 41 to fix it, do we? So 41, we have to go back to here. What fix? Where did we go from 42? Ah, oh, this was the 42. So if we went there, we could have come here. Up to you guys. We could take it back. We're not playing the algorithm that there's no take backs. We could definitely take it back. Bummer. We're fair ways down. We've got to go back almost 20. We've got to go back 18 spaces. If we're doing some kind of scoring system, it should be for every one take back, it should be an exponential increase for <laughs> the points you lose. So if you take back one, that's one point. If you take back two numbers, that's two points. If you take back three numbers, it should be four point loss. Five numbers, eight point loss. Hey Chicho, Dante, how are you doing? Long time no see, long time no see. You're catching a 10 by 10 puzzle, brother. I say we go, just continue the way we're doing. 99 is respectable, very, very, very respectable. No take backs, <laughs> no, take, no take backs, done deal. The only one we can adjust is the one, the last one we put the number for, let's say, okay? I like these. We don't make mistakes, just happy little accents. <laughs> Respect the Bob Ross. Okay, yes, we are going for 90. We're going for 99. 99 is a good number, man. So, 59. What do we got? 60. 61, 59, 60, 61, and we got choices there too, 60, 61, which way, which way should we go, we haven't gone that way for a while, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. Sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one. Which way should we go? Check this out. Now I'm not I'm gonna put these down, but I'm not gonna put numbers on them. So it's not a take back, it's a possible route, right? So fifty-nine, let's see. Sixty, sixty-one. 62 because this one only has two one in one out right 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 This one gives us a problem area. 70. 71. We're 71. Should we start writing numbers? 71, 72, 73, 74, we're stuck. So this has got to be a 99. That's got to be 98. This one has got to be 97. 86 becomes 99. 86 becomes 99. 98. And this one, I can't remember what number this one was. So that one doesn't work. 
Should we do? Should we lay down the numbers? Should we lay down the numbers? Should we go for it? Let's do 60. from there 64 65 66 67 68 69 oh wait a second how do we go there no it would have to be there 61 62 63 yeah let's fill them out we're allowed to work back from 99 now. <laughs> new target, <laughs> new target, <laughs> That's our break even point, right? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. So we got 63, 64, 65, 66. That's got to be 97, right? We could go there, but if we go there and we occupy that, we go in a different direction than that. New target is 97. <laughs> not 90. We're not at 90 yet. The points separator. Points separator. 71. It's got to be here. 72. We got no choice on that. We got to shoot for the 99. 72. 72. Where to now? 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. Oh no, look at this one. only in for that one 28 oh 68 but we have to go that way 69 68 69 yeah we can't take back anyway chicho thanks for setting up the 10 by 10 this is such fun <laughs> i've had this thing up for the tape up since i don't know a few months since we started doing it uh there's one of the mods one of the people that loves playing this game spot of t he wants us to use the blue tape uh, blue tape to set up the grid and i promise next time i take this down the next grid we set up is going to be with the blue tape okay the blue color is really nice e10 oh no i got to leave oh great lasagna Hope you get to 99 or at least 99 euros. <laughs> that would be awesome too. <laughs> Thanks for popping by, Lavania. Okay, it's fun. It's a fun thing to do for a Saturday afternoon, man. Saturday morning, evening. E10 and then go to the lower spaces. E10. Okay, E10. So. So we gotta get to E10. How are we gonna get it to E10? We can go to E10 by here. Yeah, we can't get to E10. That's the only thing in, right? The the only thing we could do is 68. With E10, we could go in and out. But 68 we use to go to 69. And then 70. And then 71. 
what else could we do with that? Oh, we said no take backs. We got Warcraft here. Have a nice Saturday, great lasagna. Thank you for popping by. Oh, sorry. I still was at 68. Oh, were you at 68? Yeah. If we're at 68, it would be awesome. The kicker is, is the 69 had what going into it? Like, if we don't go there using from the 68, then that square is another dead end, right? So we just just decided to take that. I like going to 69. I like going to 69. Come on. <laughs> oh, we won. <laughs> It's over. <laughs> Better take these guys back. <laughs> Where's number seven? No, no take backs. We've already passed it. We can't go to 69. <laughs> 69 is just part of the foreplay anyway, right? Maybe, maybe. No take backs. No take backs. So 72, 73, 74, 75. Let's do it. We're taking control. Anything over 69 is passing in the States. <laughs> passing in the States, what? 73, 74. Let's see how close we can get. 75, right? 75. And then we can come up 76. So at least we took care of that. Right? 76. B5. B5. Where are we? B5. Boop, 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 boop. Yep. So 76. What do you say? 77, 78, 79. We're up. And then we got it out here. This stuff starts getting tricky. 77, 78, 79. If we take this, this one only has one in. So we would be stuck there as well. So from here, we should take this. And then this, and this start to play itself to a certain degree. <laughs> the boops are behind the tooch. B5. What are we? 70, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. This one's got to be 80. We've got no choice on it. B3, B6, D6. D6. B3. B3. Let's see. B3, B6. Okay. And then D6. We can't do D6 because that's only two away. But we could. This one we have no choice. We're going to come out, right? So 81. What was it said? So we got 81. From here, what do we got? We only have one out. That's it. And from here, we only got one out. That's it. Oh, that takes out our thing in GB. That's unfortunate. So 80, 81. Or we let this one go, right? That would be a 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 89, why? B9 to E9, B9. Here's the problem with the E9. If we take this down, we've taken out the entry 
in two years to finish that off. So now the best we could do is 97, right? What if we do this? Now, imagine if these guys are free, we're letting this one go. So we're sitting at 98 now, right? So instead of sacrificing two, we're gonna sacrifice one. Okay, and then we'd go 80 and then 81, we've got two choices, 81 and that we can't take. 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. I think we're running into serious problem areas anyway. 97 is still great. Okay, let's try it out. But I think we're, <laughs> who said, shooting for 90 new target? I, don't, I, I hope we don't get close to it. I hope we stay above 95. So 81, and then we got 82. We got no choice on this, right? 82. And we have no choice. This has got to be 83, right? So 82. 83. Now what have we got? If we go down that road, that's 84, 85, we're done. So we have this one only to go, right? Depends on your system. C7. Yeah, we got to go here. So 84. Eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight. We can't take that one. Eighty-nine, ninety, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, ninety. <laughs> Who said the new target was ninety? <laughs> Point separator. Was it you that said the new target is ninety? You traveled into the future. What's the other choice? 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 84, 85, 86. Let's fill it up to see where we go. <laughs> Curious is 80, 85, 86, 87. couldn't do that one so we have to do it this way that's right 84 85 86 87 right because this one only has one in and one out right 87 88 89 oh no we can go more 89 90 91 and then we're stuck so we got to 91 crystal ball is this let's see hopefully we can go do more we got one point so far if 90 was our baseline right 84 85 86 87 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, oh, 92, 93, 94. Oh, we're doing better. That's good. So let's check this out. 84, 85, 86. Where were we? 87, 88. 87, 88, 89, 90, and then this way, that's right. 87, 88, 89, 90, right? If he gets about 95, I will cheer. <laughs> that's nice. Let's go for it. 90, 91, so that's not bad. 92, right? 93, 
93, 93. I think the best we're doing is 94, which is not bad. 94, right? Let's see, where were we? 90, 91, 92, 93, 92. That's our only out, 93. And then 94, right? If we could get to this one, we would have 96. If we could get that one, we would have 96. Not bad, 94. 94 it is, 94. That's not bad. That's not bad. 94 is legit, it's doable. I think so. Considering where we were at certain times, right? We're like stuck. Ninety-four. Oh, fun. Not bad. I'm happy with ninety-four. If I get ninety-two is on the low end. Ninety-four. You, for me, I end up getting ninety-four a lot. Ninety-four, ninety-five. When I start getting ninety-six, I'm starting to get really happy. Ninety-seven, very happy. Ninety-eight, yes. Ninety-nine. I start looking for patterns. Where can I reverse it to get to the hundred? And I've never been able to do it. <laughs> for the cheers 94 cheers thanks Connor <laughs> 94 cheers <laughs> so fun and we didn't by the way for this one we did really well because we I don't I can't remember if we took back anything too far I think we maybe went back one right and then since Connor said no take backs I don't think we took anything back. We just laid down blanks just to get a visual for it, right? Without committing to it. So 94 without any take backs, almost without any take backs. Not bad, not bad. Usually I reverse things a fair bit. If I find a pattern where, oh, I'm, you know, it's a dead end for one or two, I try to go back like 10 or 15 and you go a little crazy when you start doing that <laughs> right what was your solution with 99 oh man i can't remember but there are solutions out there there's one solution someone posted they made a video for that i've been meaning to redraw their steps with a video shooting with the hd camera on this and just have it done sort of rapidly while i read something in asmr format i haven't got around to doing it uh so I'm not, I forget who it was that made that video. They they commented. They we talked a little bit. Um, but if you're watching it, that's still in the queue of things for me to do. I just haven't got around to it. But I'd love to do it actually. I want to come up with some solutions. Ten by ten, nice. Should we do another one? Should we do another one? I'm gonna take this down and we're gonna shoot another one. Okay, we're gonna shoot another one and we're gonna play another one. Cleaned F <laughs> FPS. Thanks. Yes, again, again. Okay, done deal. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fresh start for 100, fresh start for 100. Let's do it, let's do it.
that's our stack of 100, right? Compared to that, here's a fresh stack of 100. So each one of these is 100. This is what we end up with. Let's do, let's do. I'm gonna pop a, I'm gonna pop a halva. Okay, gotta munch away on this. I show it with the live stream as well. <laughs> Okay, and here's our halva here for the recorded stuff. You got to love the halva. <laughs> M3. 3M, not M3. Let's check out. It's my goal to help where I can, even in videos, I'll put up mobile timestamps awesome awesome thanks connor now where to start corner start this time corner start this time whatever number he makes it to is how many bits i cheer awesome thanks god are we playing to like ten thousand? no i'm just kidding let's do it man we're shooting for 100 man i just i want to be able to capture at least once live streaming through chat getting to 100 that to me will be amazing celebrations big time let's start in the middle and create circles we already started in the middle on last time uh chicho is keeping an oh yeah let's hold that one so let's do this because last time we started in the middle but then we went straight to the corner i think we started at v6 and then we went or we started here and went straight to doop or something like this anyway Oh yeah, we went there and went boom, boom, right? But I think we should start in the corner too. We'll beat the plan uh, planet's guy, but the planet's guy set the bar very high. The planet's guy, which one is the planet's guy? But we have no circles. Start here. So the circles, we can do it from the outside in. What do you say? Curious. Are you okay with going in a circle? <laughs> Thanks for the cheers, Connor. Should we start with the uh, with the center and do concentric circles coming out, or should we go from the outside concentric going in? You guys decide. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, curious is good. So we're gonna start off. If we're gonna start in the middle, we started off here last time, right? E five. So let's do that. Let's start in the corner. Point special. <laughs> no, it's okay. So curious and point are switching. Hmm. Should we? F oh, I didn't bring a coin. I wish I had a coin. I flip a coin and we decide which way to go. How about we start off in a corner? Point is okay with going with a corner. They're <laughs> both laughing. Let's go with the corner. Let's go here. Number one. Okay. And I think what we can do is. Do we go clockwise or counterclockwise? So what's our algorithm for this? I'll flip a coin. Okay, flip a coin. Heads is heads is corner and tails is center. Okay, let us know. Where are we going, Curious? For mathematicians, what's the odds? Should we do it best out of three? No, one is good. We're waiting for the decision. And we should have an algorithm. We should come up with some rules that say, okay, if we're gonna do concentric circles, we either go clockwise or counterclockwise. When we can't go clockwise anymore, we try to go either diagonally, heads it is, heads is corner, nice, okay? So we start off with corner, that's number one. Should we go clockwise or counterclockwise? Either way, we're gonna end up with 12. 12 is either going to be here or it's going to be here okay so we can go i'm just going to put in put the stickies on there and then you guys decide clockwise or counterclockwise
done this a few times. Counterclockwise, we are going back. It reminds me of chess. Very much so. Very much so. Ah, thanks for popping up the rules, uh, Connor. Uh, counterclockwise, like we are going back in time, okay? As this way. <laughs> so we're going this way, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. So we can't go clockwise anymore, but we're going to go diagonal clockwise, right? It is like chess, very much so, very much so. There's a night, uh, I didn't know about this. I play chess, but someone mentioned it when we, when we put this off and when we start, I put up a couple of chess videos, people mentioned that this game is very much like knight move because with the knight in chess, you can cover all the, all the squares on a chessboard and there's, you know, a game for it, right? Which is super cool. When we got to 85, I suck. I claim, did you, with this guy? The more you do, once you break 90, you just go, oh, wow, okay, okay. Certain patterns pop up. Second, B8, B8, okay. So one of the rules we could have is we're going vertically and horizontally clockwise, right? And if we can't go vertically or horizontally clockwise, we go diagonally clockwise, okay? So. First movement is vertical horizontal clockwise. If that's not possible, diagonal clockwise. So number 13, so that would be number 13, 14, 15, right? And then horizontally clockwise. And this could be an algorithm, an option for an app, right? You would pick, pick the different rules you would want the game to follow, automated game to follow, and you would give a parameter, peak for it, a range, you would say, take it up to the number 50 and I'll take over after that, and it would just do, right? Yeah, chess is a good comparison. I like it, I like chess too, me too. Yeah, I love this pattern. Okay, done deal. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and we can't go that way, so we gotta go vertically. 18, 19, we can't go that way, so we gotta go this way. So quickly, we're gonna enter the center, yeah? Yes, so what number was that? So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then Which is pretty cool, eh? Back around the outside. Should we reset his twitches to the round? <laughs> no, we. I think we decided that with the mods. Uh, we sort of decided, should we do it per round or do a total count? And we sort of went total count, I think. Uh, Casey set it up. Back around the outside. And then so from here, according to our algorithm, we can't go horizontally. We could go vertically. Oh, so for this one, we should have gone vertically. So we should, we've got to modify our rules. So if you're going horizontally, if you can't go that way, continue the pattern. Because this one, we could have gone ver horizontally. So we uh, deviated from our algorithm from here, right? But we should continue our algorithm from here, maybe. If you move 20 to F10, So again, this would this would be a deviation from our, our code, our automated gameplay, right? Around the outside again. So we're already in the middle. Yeah, so we would be already in the middle. Curious, you okay with following our, our algorithm? The only place we've missed it, made a mistake, is this one, right? So this one would come here. This would be 21. And then from here, we don't have any vertical or horizontal movements, right? Occupied, 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 occupied. So now 
we got to go counterclockwise diagonally. Okay, let's stick with the code then. Yeah, let's stick with the code. I'm curious to see what happens. I wish we didn't make that one, right? But we can't take that. It's too far down the road, right? So, and that could be an option. Start off some way and then change the code in the middle. <laughs> 21, so counterclockwise diagonally, this would be 22, right? 22. Now, we're still keeping the counterclockwise motion. We can't go that way. And we're not going to go diagonally because we've got a horizontal movement. So we've got to go here. Very curious. I'm curious. We're very curious. So we've got to go here. Here's 23. Who knows how this is going to work out, right? It's 23. Right? And then it's got to be here. 24. We can't go down, right? So it's got to be 25. Is that correct? Yes, D7. Yeah. And then no movement. We're not going to go diagonal because we got vertical. That. No. It's still counterclockwise. That. No. No. And this is filled up. So now we got to go diagonally. 24. 25, right? So now we have to go diagonally again. G4. Yeah. No, no, no. So it's got to be here. 26. And if we're going counterclockwise, because we've come this way, if we go up, for, for me, it feels like if we go up, that deviates from the counterclockwise motion. For me, it feels like we have to go here. Would you guys agree? From here and then here. And then boop, boop. And then boop. perfectly covered does it yeah it does too doesn't it looks good i like it clouds are rolling in overcast or lighting is changing 27 i would go b6 yeah keep the counterclock motion going yeah go back to the outside okay so this is it b6 so this would be 27 we're not going to go there because we're going this way. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. This would be the last position. We can't go there. We can't go back. We can't come here. That would be the end. That's it. That's the quickest game ever. This algorithm <laughs> sucks. <laughs> so let's check this out. 27, mistake we made here the number 12 to here if we kept with the algorithm it would have worked <laughs> i don't know that's funny from h3 back out to j5 we are the fastest point to separate <laughs> j3 j hold on from h3 back out to j5 h3 h3 back out to j5 
Oh, yeah, you could go there. You could say the motion has to be as tight. You know, if if you if you're going horizontally at a zero degree angle, then it should be the closest angle you could go to. So it would be night the forty five degrees, which would be diagonal instead of the ninety degrees. So we could do it that way. Right? The other choice is we say this is a negative number, our algorithm sucked, but the reason is maybe this, right? Maybe we made a mistake here, right? We deviated from the algorithm. That's it. So the motion would be if you're going zero degrees and you have to change your angle, if you're going vertically or horizontal, you have to change your angle, you have to change it according to the closest angle, which would be a diagonal. Our algorithm broke. Back to the drawing board. How about this? We take this back. So we got 34. That's the worst <laughs> automation. Never trust automation. I just, I, what do you call it? Uh, I just uploaded a video on BitChute and YouTube. I think it's the one I uploaded today. Anyway, we're discussing it in education where I said, don't, you know, be careful with automation, right? Be careful with automation. We just crashed it. Okay. Let's take it back. Let's do the same rule, however, modified rule. We go to closest angle. So from here, when we hit here, we can't go to 45, so we'd have to do this, right? And then from here, this is a legit move because if we can't go that way, that would be the 90 degrees. So this would be the 45, and you go horizontally. So let's see how far back we'd have to take it. So we're modifying our code based on changing it to this being the correct one. Lesson learned. Never start in the corner. Never start in the corner. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do that uh, um, point separator, right? Because this is just one sample size from multiple games. So what you need to do is collect a lot of data, a lot of games starting from the corner to see if the corner is a good idea or not. So the first possible option by moving in a counterclockwise motion, sticking to the most outside. I think so, if I read that correctly. So let's take this back. So that's a negative game for us. That's, that was game number two. Let's do game number three with the modified code, right? So 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 24, where's 23? 24, oh, there's 23, 23, 22, 21, there's 20. I think the correction occurs from, so let's see, 19. I think these are correct, and we'll take it back and make sure our code is going to be correct. Okay. D7. 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 So let's see if this code is correct. We came here. Doink, doink, doink. And then this one, right? We can't go horizontally. We can't go 45. So it's got to be here. So I think D7 is correct. That's where we uh, separate her. I think that's where we're starting off from right here oh no hold on so we got here we can't go vertically so the next movement would have to be here right that would be our number 20. <coughs> it is f10 <laughs> curious you had the algorithm already in your in your mind i think we we are correct okay cool i think that's one place from here you mentioned previously to go there right so F20, we can't go that way. We can't go 45, so it's got to be the 90, right? We can't go this way, so it's got to be the 45, 22, 23, 24, right? We can't go horizontally. 45 is off board, so it's got to be 25, 26. About this code, right? 26, 27, 28, 29, right? 
twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. We can't go vertically, so we gotta go forty five diagonally, right? Thirty. Thirty one. Thirty two. Can't go, can't go, gotta be vertical. Thirty three. Thirty four. And then we got thirty five, thirty six. Oh no, hold on, thirty four. 35, yeah, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Okay, I'm gonna lay it down. That's what I thought. You guys cracked the code. <laughs> Try and get as close as possible to the previous ones. Mm, that could be an algorithm too, for sure, Spencer. Or separator. I don't know why I keep on saying Spencer. But separator. I'm bad with names. So bad. Teacher, I'm going to write that. You guys correct the code. That's what I thought. B1 and across 1. So let's do, hold on. Let me fill this in. Yeah, B1 across 1. So 35, 36, 37, 38. 45 I gotta start filling these in okay I'm gonna start filling them in so I don't get lost okay yes yes okay 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 right and 46 has to be there this is the one that i can feel it <laughs> looks pretty good so far 46 and the number of variations of this would be huge right if you write the code and you say start and instead of starting at a10 you could start at b9 and see where it takes you right i would love to try this out 45 46 47 48 and then it's got to be up 48 49 And then our only clockwise is this. Doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, so it's gotta be this one. And then let's see where that's gonna take us. So what do we got? 45, right? Fingers crossed. Looks better than the other ones. It looks better than the other ones, especially the 34. <laughs> the 46. But check this out. With the last one, with the 34, because of that mistake we thought we made, we broke the code, right? We, the algorithm that we set up, all of a sudden we realized, hey, maybe that wasn't a mistake, that was the right code. We just try to force it, brute force a different code on it. Right? 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, and that's one of the things with science, right? With medicine, with health. A lot of the, like penicillin, it was a mistake. It was, it, they weren't planning to make penicillin. We just saw mold and tested it out. It was penicillin, it was like crazy, right? In science, mistakes have revealed a lot to us. Question, where do we go from G8? That's a good question. So check this out. We can't, well, we don't go this way, we're still keeping the motion. The motion was this way. We can't go back, that's breaking the direction, right? So we have to go down. 
right? Because the choice is vertically or horizontally first before we go diagonal. Good question, but I think it's here. No? Keep going diagonal or go to the left, yeah. Uh, left, I think. Oh, you guys are thinking this way. I'm thinking according to the code we have. Because if we did that, then was there any other diagonal that came up that we could have continued the diagonal motion? I guess our code says keep going diagonal, does it? But we should take care of the remaining spaces to have multiple move directions. All right. It's been uh, spelling diagonal wrong this whole time. Let's stick to the code. So which way do you guys think the code is supposed to say? Go diagonal? Was there any place before that we went diagonal where uh, we could have continued going diagonal? And here's another question. Uh, should we modify the code saying, go in the direction that you're going, and if you can't go anymore, then go counterclockwise to the smallest angle of motion, right? If that's the case, then, and if we haven't broken any diagonals yet, we haven't broken the code. So we're modifying the code without having broken the code. So the new code would be start off wherever you're starting, go vertically or horizontally. And if you can't go vertically or horizontally, then go counterclockwise to the closest angle, uh, the smallest angle, and if you can still continue on in the direction that you're going, then you go straight until you have to go counterclockwise again. Yeah? Okay, we do. 53, 54, is that correct? Countertop lines to the next possible angle. Is that what you mean, Curious? Is this is this correct? This is pretty important, actually. We're gonna clarify our code before we do this. So we're either doing this, and then from here, it would have to be here, or we're doing this, and then that would have to go there, and then it would go there. No, D eight. Oh, D eight. Oh, or here. So you're saying either this or this, but this one we already decided it's going to break our code because if this was going counterclockwise, then this is the motion, isn't it? Because G5 is clockwise. G5 is clockwise. No, G5 wouldn't be clockwise, would it? Oh, you're saying counterclockwise based on the board. I'm thinking counterclockwise based on the motion. So if we're coming here, the motion, the momentum has been this way, but counterclockwise based on the board, very good, curious. Ah, okay. So this would be it, right? And then the next motion would be here, here. We got two directions, gang. We're doing this or we're doing this, which one? That's our code. So separator, you thought it was the motion too? B6. Okay, that's what we're doing. So we're going this way. Counterclockwise based on the board. And this guy's gotta go here. Cool, I like that actually. 51, 52. 53 and then the motion is going to be here 54 55 so 54 55 and it's going to be 56 57 56 57 and it's going to be here 58 59, right? So let's check this out. 54, 55, 
choice 60 would be here oh d oh this is 53 my bad so 53 i got 254 53 54 thank you 54 55 56 be going how come we, we got all the boards we reached 98 and we can't get to 100 what's going on so 59 60 and then 61 right wait good catch very good catch very good catch thanks acclaim 86 to f8 oh wait yes you're right okay cool so that's it so we got 60 61. Okay, thank you for the correction. If we got to 98 and we weren't able to record it because we made a numbering mistake, that would have sucked because we were at 100. Right. So 62, so 62 has to be here, right? And according to Curious's motion counterclockwise, then this is the next movement, right? And if that's the next movement, then the next following is this guy. And then we got that guy. And then we got this guy. And then we got this guy. So let me put the numbers in so I don't get lost again. Oh wait, yes, you're right. No problem. D7 to D4. So we got it right. 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. And then we got 68, 69, 70, 71. This is the run. It looks pretty good. Like seriously, that looks fantastic. Yeah. So we're at 71. What do we got? 71, can't do, can't do. This has got to be it. 72, 73, can't do. 74, 75, 76. Let's keep on doing it. We'll go a little slower. E4. Yeah, E4. Oh, wow, we're getting hail outside. Look at that. I wish I could show you guys the, just out the window. Can you hear it? Wow, it's windy too. If we lose power, if we lose the live stream, I'm sorry. I'll leave this up and we'll come back on a live stream because there's no way I'm gonna finish it now without modifying pro code for it, right? Automation. So just in case I'm mentioning this, if we lose the power, we'll come back on a live stream. I ain't gonna to touch this and I won't continue it until we get the we get back online again. Okay. Just saying it just in case we lose it, okay. Stay safe, I'm curious. Thanks. Luckily, I'm inside. <laughs> Sounds like a train. Yeah. Sounds super cool. Hail is a sign that we are getting to 100. The hail will destroy the barn. <laughs> yeah, just imagine. 
no hundred for you. Right? So what do we got? Seventy-one. Right? Am I starting off the right place? Seventy-one. Seventy-two. Seventy-three. That's your one hundred. Wow. Seventy. One seventy-two. Oh no! Hold on. That's not seventy-three. I almost broke the code. Right. So if that's seventy-two, and we're going. So should we go here, or should we go here? Which one? H four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh. Thanks for catching that, curious. Thanks for catching that. I almost broke the code. Seventy-three. So seventy-three here. Right. Seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three. H four. I agree. Okay. Cool. We got confirmation. So the next one must be. 74, right? And if we can't go off, it's got to be here. 75, 76, right? 77, 78. Oh, look at this. This is looking beautiful. Really? Right? C6. Okay, let's see if we got all those right. So 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. Right? Is that correct? Did I make any mistakes? Looks good so far. Yeah, it does. C6. C6. And then C3. And the next one has to be here. 79, 80, 81, 82, right? And then this has to be 83. We got no choice on it, right? So that's 83. So 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, <laughs> going to be good. I9 to G7 then. I9 to G7. Yeah, so 83. So, according to our code, this would have been next. That's occupied. So it's got to be this guy, right? I already love it. Let's stop here. <laughs> Seriously, it looks great. Everything's in the middle, right? We got everything covered almost on the outside. So 83, it has to be here, right? And here's the kicker. At some point, we have to go break the code, most likely. So the question is, when do we have to break the code to be able to fill it, right? E5 to G3, E5 to G3. Oh, wait a second. That'll break our code. Oh, sorry. Where, where are we? E5. Oh, E5 to G3. That's right. So 84, 85. Hey, we don't have to break the code. Who knows? 84, 85. So it's got to be 86, 87. There's no out from there. We have to break the code. So this guy only has that coming in. So 84. So we got to make a decision, but it's allowed to break the code at any time, right? It is. So here's the thing. If there is an app for this, right? Let's say we come up with an app for this. We make it automated, right? right? We give it this code. And we give it a limit, maximum number to go to, right? So if we give it a limit to, let's say, 50, we take over from the rest. We could follow the code or not follow the code, right? 
or introduce a new automated code on it, right? Oh man, I was getting it. Well, wait a second, the code brought us to 83 with almost everything done on the outside with the inside mostly blank. That's pretty good, right? So I wasn't personally, I mean, it'd be crazy if the code itself was able to solve it, just a simple pattern, right? But the odds of that happening would have been very, very slim, right? That would have meant we created AI. No, it doesn't. It was just the code, right? Automation, right? But so 83, should we break the code? Is it still good? So hold on. 84. So hold on. Let's. We got 84 here, right? Did we get 85 down? Where's 85? That has to be 84. 85. And that would be it, right? Because we can't go that way. We can't go that way. We can't go that way. That way, we can't go that way. That would be it. Or we go 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. I don't know. We're on 85. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 85. Wait. Oh, there's 85. My bad. Thank you. Thank you. 85. Okay. Awesome. After 85, the code is broken. To G6. After 85, the code is broken. See, the thing is, if we take this right now, then that's the only in for this guy. Right? So the best we could do with the code is 99. Right? The code would end at, so that would be 80. So let's see. So that would be 84 according to the code. Right? And then 85. Right here, let's put 85 here. 85, 86, according to the code, and then 87, and then there's no out. So 80, the code gets us to 87. We need to break the code. Right? We need to deviate from the program. So if we do this, at 84, if we break the program okay so we break the code at 86 well if we break it here the problem is this one we're writing off as a dead end we can't get there however from here we can go there right now 85 we can break the code at 85 does that help us 85 this is the only out 86 we got two choices from here 86 87 88 90, uh, sorry, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. So it's, we could get options here. Let's break it and see. D6, G6 to D6. 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 G6. We're not, yeah, but the thing is, that would be, then we're giving this away. So if we do this, take a look, 85, 86, 87, 88, 96 can we do better 96 that would be 96 so let's take these down the other 
choice is. That's got to be 86. We got no choice on that. So let's put that down. Wow, 96 is pretty good. But rats, for sure. It's, it's the hail, the hail, the hail. I blame it all on the hail. So if that's 86, we could do this one. 87. So we got choices. 87, 88. 89, 90, because these are the ones that were being, uh, that were empty, right? We skipped 85. No, 85 will get up here, right? So 85, 86, 87. Let's do this diagonals a little. 87, 88. That's not good. That totally misses a lot of things. So that's 92. Is it actually possible to hit 100? Yeah, it is possible to hit 100. There's solutions out there. I have one video loaded on BitChute on YouTube with one of the solutions. And it was uh, uh, Nelson. Uh, Nelson that had found a solution. And, he, and during the live stream, we played it. He, he told us what the motion was and we captured it. Right. But it wasn't, we didn't do it ourselves through chat, right? So this one is no good. So take these guys down. What's the other option from 87? 87, 88. And then if we go diagonal, 88, that would be 89, and that would be it. So that's no good. 88, 89. And that's no good. That gets stuck. Right? 87, 88, 89. And then we do this. 90, 91, 92, 93. gets us to 94 so that's less than 96 that doesn't work either new record today do you have a template somewhere I want to work on this yeah if you go to uh, here if you do oh let me give you ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, if you do Chicho 10 by 10 puzzle the main video should pop up on uh, YouTube the first one we did and if you just do a search on DuckDuckGo and the or the other <laughs> search engine <laughs> like duck duck go with uh the 10 by 10 puzzle will show up if you do chicho 10 by 10 and you should be able to find your way to the article uh where i posted the instructions right and i have basically a grid just a sample grid of 10 by 10 that you can do it with pen and paper the other choice is you could play it online here's the command there's someone wrote a program for it uh, let me do this 10 by 10 someone wrote a program for it that you can just play it online right <laughs> those are fine with schmuggle <laughs> so let's take it back to 96 hopefully we don't lose it right so far we can't get to we're not doing any better right where was 85 oh did I take down 85 Oh no, 85, 86, that's right, that had to be there. 87, 88, 89, 90. So let's take it to 90 for now, let's see if we can mess around with that. 87, 88, 89, 90. Right? And then from there we did, I think, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. Now if we go 90, what else can we do? 91, 92, 
94. It's not going to work. I think 96 is the best we can do. 90, 91. What's the other choice? 91, 92, 93, 94. 95. No, 91, 92. If we could get to this one or this one, that would be 98. But 96 is not bad. 96 is not bad. Look at this, just four guys here. If we were able to knock these guys off during the automated session, very interesting game. Definitely gonna play that some more online. Awesome, I'm glad you like it, Clay. It's, it's a fun game. It's got so many possibilities, so simple. So many possibilities. Like you could, you could scale this, right? And we will. This is what we're working on. Slowly, we're just gonna look at this thing in different, different light, different perspective, and at some point get the get the app up and just see if we can come up with patterns that you could start the game off with and then take over, right? Got to go, go see you, Chicho. Keep up the good, uh, the cut. We'll do a claim. Thank you for popping by. Thank you for popping by. You just want me to curious. You just want me to say it. Okay. That was fun, gang. That was super fun. Thank you for being here. Right? I hope you enjoyed. We did okay. We got pretty good. 96. Okay. 94. And the worst showing ever at 34. Right? I guess that automation, we broke it. That was fun. That was fun. That was super fun. Fantastic super fun and we'll do this we're going to try to do this once a, once a month or at least once every two months right i would also love to see more of the games uh, like this yeah i'm i'm working on it we will we will it you should see my to-do list to the content that i i want to create it's in books like so much and that's one of the things i loaded up in the previous video right i spent a lot of time uh, we talked about this right we spent a lot of time taking care of the, a lot of things that i've been ignoring procrastinating right through the education system i learned that right took care of a lot of things i needed to take care of and basically what was left is everything that i love doing i still have to you know still things come up it's life right still things come up that you need to take care of that you know it's life right but I get those done right away and the rest of it is just oh everything that we want to do just gotta find the time to do them right well, my pleasure thank you for being here again thank you for the for the bits thank you for the subscribes thank you for the follows thank you for participating thank you for the game super fun we come up with one code one one algorithm we'll come up with more later okay aside from that hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. And the next live stream. Bye, everyone.